believe it and now I maybe I think maybe she's not so bad anybody become I got oh I forgot my Swifty bracelet I learned all about it yesterday who knows about Taylor Swift I've never heard of her tips I heard to good tips at the restaurant no no to her crew like phenomenal tips well hopefully she's she's nice to them I think she is so that's a phenomenon that we don't get, we're not the target audience. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm in my 60s, and I, uh, they don't care about, I, I feel left out. Nobody ever wanted me to even begin to hear a Taylor Swift song. Nobody gave me a Taylor Swift song. So, I'm going to play you one. There you go. Right, and how, oh, right, so this is the practicality of when the musical acts are here. Thank you. There's even a way to, like a poet. Because... Uh, what we saw last night were samplings of her songs, and uh, just other people perform them, all ages. This is called The Archer. It's, uh, it de deals with her, um, I think it's all very personal. Anybody? So Taylor Swift, anybody hear a Taylor Swift song? They say, yes, I love a song by Taylor Swift. Yeah. One, two, three, so there are a few people. You can almost think of what they might be. Surprise me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there are too many. Come, so many. Come back, come back. I'm ready for combat. I say I don't want that. But what if I do? <laughs> Cruelty wins in the movies. I've got a hundred thrown out speeches I almost said to you. <laughs> easy they come and easy they go. I jump from the train, it's getting so old. Help me hold on, help me hold on to you. I've been the archer, I've been the Darling, but who could stay? Dark side, I search for your dark side. But what if I'm all right, right, righty, right here? And I cut off my nose just to spite my face. <laughs> Then I hate my reflection for years and years and years. I wake up in the night, I pace like a ghost. The room is on fire, invisible smoke. And all of my heroes die all alone. Help me hold on to you. I've been the archer. I've been the prey. Could ever leave me, darling? But who could stay? I see right through me. 
Because they do, they see right through me, they see right through me, they see right through me, can you see right through me? They see right through, they see right through me, I see right through me, I see right through me, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again, cause all of my enemies started out friends, help me hold on to you. I've been the archer, I've been the prey. Who could ever leave me, darling? But who could stay? Who could stay? Who could stay? Who could stay? for combat. <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> I, I told her the lake. <laughs> We're ready to love again. We're ready to love again. <laughs> so I think you're in for a surprise, but there's a tremendous popularity, which really blows that out of proportion. It's a very specific group. Again, I, I am totally left out. I really feel left out. Um, okay, so who's got other requests? <laughs> Love the magic dragon. We got a little, oh, a little before our time. Well, maybe it's a chance to look at something that we did with Theater for the New City. Did anybody follow the <laughs> street theater every year? Uh -huh. And that Crystal Field is the founder, uh, you know, one of the founders of that theater in the East Village. It's been there for a long time. And she's been doing it, I think, since the 70s. I think Theater for the New City was the, the new city was Mike Lin, was Mayor Lindsay's, John B. Lindsay's new city. We all go back to those. I remember, yeah, Mayor Lindsay, then Mayor Bean, we could go through the mayor. Uh, oh, Koch, I guess, Koch. Oh. Harrison Golden died. Does anybody know who Harrison Golden was? He was the controller during the uh, Ed Koch days. So uh, anyway, Crystal likes to be political and be uh, up to mid the minute on uh, current events. So she starts off with uh, an intake center getting opened in uh, Jackson Heights, Queens. Jackson. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it to be open uh, because there brings a lot of uh, maybe homeless. I, I think there's Baxter House. There are places that are um, you know taking in more uh, more immigrant population. Uh, and she was thinking about all the, the ladies they are singing about, how they are neighbors, but they're all very different. The, um, the part of uh, Queens where there's such ethnic diversity. Uh, right. So I wrote the music. She actually hired me to be the composer for this street theater that toured the parks. Wow. So I'm ready to play it, even though other people, there's a group of uh, ladies singing this song called We're Neighbors. Well, the lyrics are by Crystal Field. And anybody, how's theater for the new city? Anybody thinking, oh, I've been there or no? Of Who's course. been to the, Yes, of we all love it. It's got a lot of, uh, they're always doing new things and very pr promoting. Uh, also poets. I know Lisa Mora Moore is here tomorrow. She's one of the people programming there. This is called We're Neighbors. We're neighbors, we're neighbors, we're near to each and far. We're neighbors, we're neighbors, we're close but there's a bar between us. You've seen us together for some fun, but each of us without a fuss has a life that's ours alone. We always start from far apart, separate from everyone. What makes us come together? It could be the hot weather, or a birthday, or a funeral. Or that new deli restaurant that opened yesterday. Lots cream cheese on bagels, and a pizza giveaway. We're neighbors, we're neighbors, God bless us everyone. Our neighborhood is pristine clean. We don't want a homeless shelter or an immigrant intake office. 
clogging up the scene. We're afraid of guns and sickness and garbage in the streets. And we don't want our way of life to back up and retreat. We see the news on CNN, Fox News, and CBS, and we will stop. And we don't want that horror storm, that horror storm to come down on the heads of us, heads of us, heads of us. It's us, it's us, U.S. Can you spell it? It's us, U.S. Can you hear it, taste it, smell it? Sometimes at times we live in fear, in fear and trepidation. But on this spring day, the 15th of May, the U.S. as a nation. And especially our neighborhood is hale and hearty, cause together we're all going to Lily's birthday party. We're neighbors, we're neighbors, we'll never give that up. And though we worry and we fear of all the news we see and hear, we need and love each other. Every mother's son, sister and brother, that's what our neighborhood is all about. Tell it from the rooftop, scream and shout, sing it in the streets, but when trouble comes, we open our doors, we'll hold out our hands and give you a seat. We're neighbors. Where's where? Thank you. Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, well, sorry. That, that's a sample of the lyrics of Crystal, and with some music. I don't know how that... That was a first. Uh, how, how was that? Okay? Good. We're neighbors. Oh, no, it sounds yeah, like, like anti-immigrants. Yeah, she's got that yeah. position, but then they realize that they want to open up their arms to the immigrants. Actually, there's, there are other conflict songs. I mean, we'll see, but I think we're into some lighter okay. things right now, so... Or maybe we're ready. How are we doing, David? A little bit of uh, uh, CD. Oh, uh, just uh, oh, does everybody know Mother, Mother? Yeah. Can we see if anybody is here?
Peter. Oh, I'm Peter DeZoz. I programmed for the musical component of this year, this, uh, this, this number, time 18, around. number 18, booked Boog City. So thank you, Very thank you for asking me to be part of this. Thank you. Uh, thank you.